So, although there are less number of people even now, I will announce that uh, don't take pictures. This YouTube also, this video also will be on YouTube for good. <clears throat> and those who want, Preeti will share the PDF of this presentation. So, everybody knows what is psychosis. You know, mental disorders are divided between two main categories. Neurosis, which has anxiety, depression, mood disorders, panic attacks, OCD. And second is psychosis, which is a thought disorder. A neurotic person is aware that what he or she is going through or doing is not right, but it's not in their hands. An OCD patient will tell you, Doc, I'm fed up, but I cannot get rid of this fear of infection, so I must wash hands. Psychosis is a thought disorder. They do not understand whether what they are doing is right or wrong. So all the people you see on the roadside who say I am Maharaja Akbar or I am Amitabh Bachchan, those are thought disorders, those are psychosis. So anti-psychotics, how will you suspect a psychosis? The commonest is schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder. The commonest way of suspecting that this patient, young man, may be going into psychosis is, I have picked up around six cases like this in my 45 years practice. A bright child, this generally happens in 18 to 25 years of age, it starts. A bright child who's been doing very well suddenly has scholastic backwardness, drops in grades. Parents will come to you, they will say he's not studying. But when you look at the child, no, you understand that this is not something which is just lack in studies. Today's children, I had a child who was brought to me. And when I spoke to the child, child very clearly says, Mirko kaam nahi karna hai bada okay. I want to enjoy life. A psychosis, a schizophrenia begins in early 20s and commonest thing is scholastic backwardness. Of course, by the time delusions, hallucinations come up, you will always be able to pick up. You will never miss. But first index of suspicion is when there is fall in grades. In the first lecture, we discuss about neurotransmitters. So, first generation antipsychotics are dopamine receptor antagonist, DRA, and are known as typical antipsychotics. They are phenothiazines, of which the compounds are trifluperazine, perfenazine, prochlorperazine, our common stematyl, acetophenazine, trifluperazine, and mesoridazone. Butyl phenones, haloperidol, the good drug I'll explain about this once we are talking anxiety. Thioxanthines, dibenoxapine, loxapine, dihydrondols, molindrone, and diphenbutyrpiridines. Second generation antipsychotics are serotonin dopamine antagonists, also known as atypical antipsychotics. The FDA has approved 12 anti, atypical antipsychotics as of year 2016. This is FDA USA. The first generation antipsychotics have major side effects, adding to morbidity and poor compliance. The second generation do not have as bad side effects and can be continued if you talk to the patients well. 
they are risperidone, olanzapine, quetapine, ziprasidone, eripirazole, peliperidone, arsenapine, all big names. But what we will restrict is we should learn at least three drugs very well, risperidone, olanzapine and quetapine. So what are the indications of antipsychotics? Schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorders. Both first and second generation antipsychotics are used except clozapine. They are indicated for an acute episode of psychosis. An acute episode of psychosis may happen in a normal person when there is too much of a stress on a person and this may not continue for long. It may just be temporary and can be treated over three to six months and treatment stopped. Maintenance therapy of schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorders. First generation antipsychotics are better for treating positive symptoms of schizophrenia. So now understand schizophrenia or psychosis has positive symptoms and negative symptoms. Positive symptoms are hallucinations, delusions, among others. For our sake, let's remember only two. Delusions, hearing voices. God comes and tells me that I have to do this. Mahatma Gandhi comes and tells me I have to do this. Or hallucinations. I saw my grandfather who died 80 years ago. Delusions are generally thoughts. Hallucinations are auditory and visual. The first generation antipsychotics also decrease the risk of repeat episode of psychosis. Second generation antipsychotics treat both positive and negative symptoms of schizophrenia. Common negative symptoms are withdrawal, ambivalence among others and are known to reduce relapse rates. So when you use first generation antipsychotic, you have to give something for negative symptoms separate. When you use second generation or atypical antipsychotics, they control both. Acute mania. Sometimes patients can get into acute mania before entering a positive negative phase of schizophrenia. Acute mania is grandiose thoughts, grandiose behavior. A patient who belonged to a middle class family was under treatment for depression. One fine day, the husband came and told me, Doctor, I am facing a lot of problems from my relatives. He calls people random relatives and just says that uh, I think your son should marry that one's daughter. Should I talk to them? And if they don't show interest, she gets wild. And then she is very happy doing it as if she is doing a favor to both the families. I was wondering what is happening till one day he came and he said she took 25,000 rupees from the cupboard, which for them was big money. She went to a silk shop in Juhu, Kala Niketan, and she spent 25,000 rupees buying cut pieces of silk. Then I thought that this is grandiose, and she didn't have any regrets. She was telling the husband, you should be thankful to me. I have saved you so much money. Then I spoke to the psychiatrist. I said, I think her depression is now gone into bipolar. 
and then he agreed and we had to put her on uh, acute mania treatment that time so first generation antipsychotics are effective in the treatment of acute mania with psychotic symptoms all second generation antipsychotics except clozapine can also be used as treatment for symptoms of mania antipsychotics can also be combined with mood stabilizers like lithium valproic acid or carbamazepine initially and then after symptoms stabilize can be gradually decreased or withdrawn lithium carbonate is one drug which is given in acute mania to prevent episodes or in bipolar depression to prevent the episodes of acute mania since lithium carbonate is 100% excreted in kidney we need to check creatinine every 2 3 months more so monthly if the patient is a known case of hypertension diabetes or is elderly then as i said bipolar disease major depressive disorders with psychotic features first or second generation antipsychotics along with antidepressant treatment for choice for depression with psychotic features patient of depression suddenly starts getting hallucinations delusions slowness of the body psychomotor impairment and a state of stupor stupor these patients can sit still like a idol for 3 4 hours without even blinking eyelids olanzapine and fluoxetine which i spoke last time as a combination therapy have fda approval for treatment resistant depression with psychotic features so what are the indications of antipsychotics when do you give patient has delusions first generation antipsychotics are indicated in treatment of delusional disorder it's a psychosis only but this patient has more of delusions than hallucinations and paranoia associated with personality disorders people have personality disorders but they are paranoid somebody is against talking against me my people are against me my patients my family my in laws are talk against me they are planning to kill me paranoia paranoid personality disorder or ppd is a mental health condition marked by a pattern of distrust and suspicion of others without adequate reason to be suspicious if two friends are talking they are talking something confidential which i need not know when i enter they stop talking so i will feel that they are talking about me and uh, they must be plotting something against me then psychotic patients are at times severely agitated severely irritable hostile hitting out to people and hyperactive patients can be treated with a short term course of first generation antipsychotics irrespective of what is the etiology they can get hostile with mania they can get hostile with depression yes you can use first generation antipsychotics second generation antipsychotics can also be used for acute agitation because you know in psychosis as i said last time in mental disorders the caretaker and the family suffers more than the patient because patient doesn't understand what is happening and that is why most are typical antipsychotics and some first generation are available as liquid also which are colorless tasteless liquids and can be mixed with water fruit or food and given to patients but it's difficult because many time patients are so suspicious they will not take a glass of water from anyone risperidone and olanzapine 
are useful for controlling aggression in children. Yes, children also can get psychosis. Tourette disorders, a nervous system disorder involving repetitive movements or unwanted sounds. Commonest you will get is people nodding the head. And sounds will be when they are just sitting, no. <clears throat> they keep making such noises. Haloperidol and Pimozide are antipsychotic most commonly used for this syndrome. Haloperidol, I have good experience. Haloperidol in low dose, 0 0.05 milligram BD or TDS can also be used for anxiety. Long time back, I had done a research project under auspices of GPA with one pharmaceutical company, low dose haloperidol in anxiety, and it worked very well. Tourette disorder is an off label indication for second generation antipsychotics. What is off label? The literature of the manufacturer will not mention Tourette disorder in olanzapine or risperidone or quitipine, but yes, it can be used. Borderline personality disorder. This type of personality disorder can have symptoms of both psychosis and paranoia. Both first and second generation antipsychotics are used for treatment of these symptoms. <coughs> Sorry, repeat. Then patients of dementia and delirium, whatever the cause may be, a low dose of high potency first generation antipsychotic like heroperidol is recommended for the treatment of agitation and delirium and dementia. Heloperidol is available in liquid format, colorless, tasteless liquid which can be mixed. Agitated patients are generally not paranoid and dose can be given to them. You have to just guide the, guard the family that they may get EPR. Normally with 0.25 mg TDS, I have used even for 3-3 three, three months. There is no need to give pacetin. There is no risk of EPR, but they should be guarded. That's all. It's essential to use caution in elderly population that is 60 plus as it can cause significant adverse effects. Second generation antipsychotics can also be used for treating behavioral disturbances in dementia. We use a lot of olanzapine or quitipine in patients of dementia. Off-label use of second-generation antipsychotic is AIDS-related dementia. Again, the drug does not mention one of the indications, but it has been used in AIDS-related dementia also. Substance Institute Psychotic Disorder. People consume a lot of drugs. There are so many new drugs coming in the market, we don't even know the name. So, if at times abuse of that causes a psychotic disorder, in cases of severe psychosis secondary to substance abuse, antipsychotics can be used to control agitation symptoms. Caution is very necessary when you use first generation in alcohol withdrawal. The best treatment for alcohol withdrawal, as we discussed last time, is chlorazepoxide. But if not available or the patient is very agitated, you can give first generation antipsychotics. Childhood schizophrenia. Generally, these children will have both parents or at least one parent having schizophrenia. Clozapine works very well in early onset schizophrenia. Now, little bit on four or five common antipsychotics so that you decide which one you want to use. 
risperidone, second generation atypical antipsychotic, used in the treatment of schizophrenia and bipolar disorder, one of the most widely used second generation antipsychotics. Schizophrenia and various mood disorders are also thought to be caused by an excess of dopaminergic D2 and serotonin serotonergic 5-HT2 activity and since risperidone blocks that, inhibits that, it gives benefits. It is thought to reduce this overactivity through inhibition of dopaminergic D2 receptor and serotonergic 5-HT2 receptors in the brain. The brand name is Cizodon Sun Pharmaceutical Industries Limited. Available in 2.5, 5 and 10 milligram. Risdone Intas Pharmaceuticals. Respond Micro Labs. Adverse effects. AE stands for adverse effect. Headache, insomnia, Parkinsonian features. Then they disappear after discontinuation. So you have to keep observing whether the patient starts getting mask-like face, rigidity and tremors, and drowsiness and sedation. Olanzapine is the drug I would recommend to be used first if you are planning to use in a schizophrenia patient. It is used in the treatment of schizophrenia, both positive symptoms like hallucinations or delusions, and also negative symptoms like losing interest, withdrawal, losing motivation in life and activities, including relationship, sexual disinterest, lack of concentration, not wanting to leave the house, and changes in sleeping pattern. This lack of concentration is the reason for scholastic backwardness. Adverse effects are dizziness, sleepiness, orthostatic hypotension, dryness of mouth, weight gain, increased prolactin levels in blood. So olanzapine works wonders, but you have to keep checking prolactin levels every three to six months based on the reaction in patient. These patients may not get galactoria, but Giving advice for serum prolactin every three to six months is a part of this drug prescription. Constipation, muscle stiffness, restlessness, tremor. This is the most preferred drug as I told you. Available as two and a half, five, seven and a half, ten milligram. The best combination is to give, best modality is to give twice a day at 12 hour interval. Because if you want to give 5 milligram to the patient and if you give 5 milligram OD, chances of side effects are higher. So might as well divide the dose into two. Three brands, Oliens, Sun, Olimelt, Intas and Oliens RT Sun. Quitipin. Quitipin 25 tablet is used in treatment of schizophrenia and mania. Also used to treat bipolar disorders. This drug prolongs the QT interval. So, like there you have to give prolactin advice. Here you have to do ECG before and ECG periodically, maybe once in three to six months. If it is, you have a ECG machine, you can easily convince the patient that it is part of the treatment. But if you have to refer out, then patients get little worried. Kya ho hai? Other side effects are dryness in mouth, drowsiness, constipation, fatigue, high blood pressure induced by quitapine, and also orthostatic hypotension and dyslipidemia. So, how do we avoid orthostatic hypotension? It generally occurs in first week of therapy. 
So we tell the patient that after taking the tablet, remain lying for at least 20 to 30 minutes. And then when they get up, there is uh, no orthostatic hypotension. This rule applies to first dose of ACE inhibitors. And if you are giving arcamine, even then or clonidine. What is the fear of QT interval? Why should I worry? Prolonged QT interval above 0.44 second, the patient is at a risk of fatal ventricular tachyarrhythmias. They can go into ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation. Clozapine is the first a typical antipsychotic or second generation approved by FDA. It's primarily used to treat people with schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorders who have had an inadequate response to other antipsychotics or who have been unable to tolerate other drugs due to extra pyramidal side effects. So this is not the first option other than in children. Side effects are dizziness, fainting, constipation, fever, and weight gain. Leukopenia, total WBC count going down, eosinophils going up, and extrapyramidal reaction. Most of the antipsychotics require a prescription of pacitane in addition. Increased transaminases, SGOT, SGPT, drowsiness, seizures, and anticholinergic effects like retention of urine and dry mouth. Tachycardia, excessive salivation. So tachycardia with increased prolonged QT interval can be a problem. Brand names are Sizopin, Sun Pharma, 25-50-100-200 mg tablets. Please make sure when I spoke on hypertension, I emphasized that the tablet should be taken same time every day to have a continual effect. Antipsychotics require the same. You have to insist and taking an antipsychotic on empty stomach is not going to harm, but they cannot miss the time. So if you are Going out and you're not sure when you're returning, carry one strip in your purse or carry one strip in the car. Then, you know, injectable antipsychotics were thought of. Why? Because compliance was very poor. Soon after introduction of antipsychotics in the 50s, poor adherence to oral formulation was found to be a critical issue. Because there were side effects. In 1950s, we had first generation. Lot of side effects. Even a simple side effect like dryness of mouth can force people to stop medicine. So then we thought of development in 66 of the first long acting injectable antipsychotic LAIP, AP, fluphenazine, if method, and then fluphenazine decanoate in 18 months later. To reduce the incidence of side effects of the Enthanet brand. Haloperidol decanoate became available in Europe in 81 and in US in 86. Available in India now. Clinical trials showed a dramatic reduction in morbidity of schizophrenia after injectables were used. There are four brands I have given here. I have given not the brand name. Haloperidol, fluphenazine decanoate, flupenthixol decanoate, and zuclopenthixol. Commonly used are haloperidol and flupenthixol. Second generation antipsychotic injectable, olanzapine, paliperidone, risperidone are available. If you see, olanzapine requires monitoring post injection for three hours. You have to keep the patient in the clinic and observe. But all these 
olanzapine before you start injectable must be giving oral medicine for some time. For peliperidone, you don't require oral supplementation. And risperidone injections require a period of three weeks of overlap with oral risperidone. You give injection today, you continue oral for three weeks because by the time the injection is absorbed and therapeutic effect happens, it takes time. Risperidone long acting is indicated in maintenance treatment of schizophrenia in patients on oral antipsychotics. Not recommended for patients below 18 years of age. Coming to anti-anxiety, as the name suggests, these help reduce the symptoms of anxiety such as panic attacks or extreme fear and worry. I am sure you all have at least one patient of panic attacks who comes with a file of hundreds of ECGs. Every time he or she gets a panic attack, they rush to an ICU, do an ECG, maybe a troponin and all that thing. The most common are benzodiazepines, which are a group of medication that can help reduce anxiety and make it easier to sleep. Although benzodiazepines started at diazepam, but now advanced products have come in. Also used as muscle relaxants. That's why if you see prescription of most orthopedic surgeon for a pain condition has a prescription of alprazolam 0.25 milligram BD or half BD or one OD. So to induce sedation for surgery and other medical procedures. And sometimes diazepam is also given to control seizures especially in children, per rectally, and alcohol withdrawal. Chlorodazep oxide is an anti-anxiety medicine is given for alcohol withdrawal. They are also called minor tranquilizers, sedatives, or hypnotics. Most widely prescribed psychoactive drugs in the world. The calming effect of Benzodiazepine can often be achieved without drugs. Various kinds of exercise such as walking, running, yoga can help. I spoke on stress few sessions back. Now, all of these psychosis or neurosis is happening due to neurotransmitters, chemical messengers. When we exert when we run, we jog, or we even hit a punching bag, that burns our stress chemicals. I'll remind you of a film called Ek Duje Ke Liye. Very old film, first movie of Rati Agniyotri and Kamla Sen. If you remember that movie, no, when Kamla Hassan comes to know that his lover has been engaged to somebody else. He breaks into Bharatnatyam and he dances till he collapses. Why was he dancing? He was burning his stress chemicals. So all these patients of mental health have to have an advice of regular exercise. When used appropriately, benzodiazepines are safe and effective drugs, but there is a potential of abuse. People start taking on their own will. Usually, we should have short term only, otherwise, they can lead to addiction. Nowadays, fortunately for us, government has emphasized that for every time you give a prescription of a psychoactive drug, you need a fresh prescription every one month. They are most commonly used to treat anxiety such as clonazepam, alprazolam and lorazepam. Also used as oxazepam, chlorazepoxide and diazepam. There was one drug called meprobamate which is hence withdrawn. For true insomnia, patient not getting sleep, lorazepam, nitrazepam, oxazepam, triazolam and fluorazepam. 
ट्रैजोलैम इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन इंडिया सो आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू वॉट इज दोटेंसी ऑफ ड्रग अवेलेबल लोराजेपैम वन एंड टू मिलीग्राम क्लोनाजेपैम पॉइंट टू फाइव एंड पॉइंट फाइव मिलीग्राम डिस्पोजिबल टैबलेट्स this is used in panic attacks mouth dissolving nitrazepam 10 mg fluorazepam 5 10 and 15 based on how much you want to give for insomnia please don't tell patient or don't write on prescription while sleeping today everybody sleeps after 10:30 11 so they take the tablet that time the tablet doesn't have effect immediately next morning they are groggy and they'll come and blame you sir i am drowsy next day i want to stop medicine so i as a rule all such medicines amitriptyline sedatives and even antihistaminics if i am giving in the night i say 9 pm irrespective of your meal or sleeping time then other anti anxiety drugs what molecules are available and what combinations are available if you want you can take a picture of this so at least it is available for ready reference escitalopram 5 10 and 20 mg used for depression and anxiety Dr. Shajal, I'll answer after this. Escitalopram five ten twenty. When you have a patient with depression and or anxiety, a combination of escitalopram and clonazepam with a patient who has comorbid anxiety depression, it's available in combination of escitalopram ten, clonazepam either point two five five or ten. Clonazepam, mouth dissolving, severe anxiety and panic attacks available as point two five. Sorry, not zero. One second. Point two five, point five, and two milligram mouth dissolving. it is zolam mouth dissolving mild to moderate anxiety 0.25 and 0.5 mg and it is zolam plus escitalopram comorbid anxiety and depression 0.5 of it is zolam and escitalopram 10 escitalopram 10 can be easily given to patients even half tablet twice a day and they don't feel drowsy you may have to give them another drug for sleeping please take a picture those who want for ready recorder common side effects are drowsiness sedation because the drug is supposed to sedate dizziness again commonest cause of dizziness in patient with this drug is not the drug something else either lack of water lack of nutrition or a labyrinthine disorder loss of balance at higher doses patient may get confused disorientation amnesia forgetfulness breathing difficulties but auscultatory nothing oxygen is normal and depression so i like this series so my next talk is going to be prescribing antibiotics thoughtfully because you know there is so much abuse of antibiotic happening even by us family doctors it's better we make some rules so that we 
are able to prescribe properly. Once again, repeating, this video will be available on YouTube permanently. Those who want to have the PDF file can ask Preeti and Preeti will share it with you. Okay, there is a question by Dr. Sh Lorazepam or diazepam best for alcohol withdrawal. See, if you can actually get chlorazepoxide, no, nothing like it. Because three tedious chlorazepoxide, Librium, patient still needs lorazepam 2 mg for sleep. How to differentiate? Repeat about lithium carb. Okay, Dr. Faiza. Lithium carbonate is a drug used in patients of bipolar disorder or psychosis with mania to prevent attacks of mania. Because, you know, in a mania, there is a big risk that a patient can actually give away the property to somebody because they feel so great. I had a patient of schizophrenia who, despite having taken 40 electroconvulsive therapy sessions, was managing a business of 800 lakhs a year. This is, I'm talking of 30 years back. But he would get episodes of mania. I will get call from his house. Dr. A Tower, he's sitting in a meeting talking nonstop. And he's not allowing anyone in the meeting to even leave for passing urine. The family had taken steps. All the property in his name could not be signed off by him alone. So, lithium carb prevents episodes of mania. And since it is 100% excreted in, by kidneys, you need to do creatinine once in 2-3 months. But if the patient is hypertensive or diabetic with a risk of nephropathy, then you should check it once a month. How to differentiate between children, psychosis and ADSD, Dr. Jantilal? That's a full day topic full lecture topic. I am thinking of calling in a specialist to talk on this. So that cannot be covered in one line. Amitriptyline safe in lactation. I would not suggest. Give me a minute. Okay, amitriptyline used during breastfeeding would usually not be expected to cause any adverse effect in breastfed infants. So, there is your answer and thanks for asking because the, give me a chance to learn something new today. Amitriptyline can be given safely in lactation. Sertraline for depression and mood elevation, yes, it works well. How long is the antipsychotic drugs given in case of schizophrenia started at the age of 20 years? Ma'am, it's a lifelong disease. So the treatment is lifelong. It's only when there is a remission, complete remission, you can take a break, but keep on watch and drug has to be restarted. If a patient comes to us who has taken lorazepam for the duration of 10 years, what would be the correct course of action from them on? If they are still getting sleep with lorazepam 1 mg or 2 mg, they can continue. Combination of acetalo and clonaza, there is a mistake in dose of clonaza. One second, I'll just check. Yeah, right. You are right. I'll correct it. One second.
Thanks, Dr. Jaintilal. Friends who have taken snapshot, please take a snapshot again. Psychotropic drugs suicide. Very rare chances of psychotropic drugs causing suicidal tendency. Suicidal tendencies are more to do with uh, patients having depression. Not related to today's topic, do calcium supplement need to be stopped in renal or GB calculator patient if taking? No. See, GB calculi are purely cholesterol calculi. The renal calculi, the calcium that we are giving, no. And the calcium that get deposited in calculi are different. That is elemental calcium. Dr. Hiten Safi, if you are on Telegram, please put there that you want PDF of one and two testing. One full lecture needed for de-addiction. Thank you. Thank you very much. So see you next week with a talk on antibiotic, which is a must for all of us. Think twice. It has become a habit, you know, to write augmentin even when not indicated. Thank you very much. Preeti, just see some doctors have written on this about PDF. So keep a track of this. Thank you.